Hey everyone, my name is John Earl and I'm a UX engineer at Salesforce. And today I'm joined by Becca Eukelson, who is a product designer here. We both work on the Lightning Design System, or SLDS, which is a framework for building dynamic experiences on the Salesforce platform. Today we'll be demoing the new SLDS Sketch plugin. It's a free plugin that's available right now. This plugin allows users to quickly mock up Salesforce UIs using our collection of pre-built components in Sketch. Now, Sketch is a tool that product designers use to mock up UI experiences. In many ways, it's the modern day Photoshop for designing web products and websites. Now, although Sketch is a design tool, the SLDS Sketch plugin isn't just for designers. We've built it to be used by all trailblazers who design or build experiences on Salesforce. In the past, you may have tried to convey an idea with pen and paper, but now you can just as easily design in a higher fidelity way. The ability to quickly create new experiences is particularly important right now, as businesses must adapt their Salesforce instances in response to COVID-19. We really believe the SLDS Sketch plugin is key to enhancing productivity in your journey to reopening. Now I'm going to hand it off to Becca, who will demo the plugin for us. Thanks, John. Hey, everyone. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure you have a Mac computer, Sketch downloaded, and the plugin installed. If you're not set up just yet, you can pause the video and press play when you're ready. Now, you're ready to start building your first UI in Sketch. For today's demo, we're going to create a fictitious opportunity page. Imagine you have a customer who wants to see all their contacts in an opportunity record similar to the standard opportunity page. However, they'd also like to see a data visualization of their lead breakdown on the right hand side. You're going to use the Sketch plugin to quickly mock up this idea for your stakeholders. First, you'll make sure to have Sketch opened and you'll start by placing a new artboard on your canvas. You'll want to click Insert Artboard. Then you'll choose your artboard from the options on the right. We'll start with the desktop HD size. Now we're ready to unleash the power of the plugin. With your keyboard, hit Command J to open it up. As you can see, this panel pops out with onboarding instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and click Next. When you get to this Add Library screen, you'll want to check all the options to follow along with the demo. Then you'll click Next and you'll get a confirmation screen. And once you've completed the onboarding, you'll see the main UI. At the top, there's a search bar to search for components. On the left, that's the navigation to switch between libraries. If you click on a component name, you can see the description and the different variants. Now, let's get started. The SLDS Sketch plugin offers a great starting point for you with our standard artboards. We're going to navigate to that section and select the artboard that already has a background and navigation. I'm going to click on this component and place it roughly on my artboard. Now, in order to get my canvas to fit the dimensions of my standard artboard symbol, I'm gonna just click on the artboard here and then click the fit button over here in Sketch. Now, my standard artboard is matching the dimensions of my sketch canvas. Next, we'll add some cards to compartmentalize our UI a bit. I'm gonna navigate back to all libraries and I'm gonna search for a card and start dragging a card onto my page. Eventually, my canvas is gonna start to look something like this. Now, we're gonna add some components that we know our users will love. I'm gonna look for a sales path by typing in path. I'll click on this sales path component and place it here where a sales path would typically live in the product. Next, I know I want a data table to see my contacts. So I'm gonna search for a data table and click on this component here and place it on my canvas. I can keep dragging data table symbols here and placing it on my canvas. And the page is gonna to start to look something like this. Now I want to build out my data visualization on the right hand side. I'm gonna to navigate to the charts component library here and this donut chart looks good to me. So I'm gonna click on it and place it on my canvas. Finally, we'll add some icons by navigating over to our icon library. As an example, I want a phone icon. So I'm gonna search the word phone. As you can see, there are a bunch of icons that match the search term phone. This is because we have built-in synonyms so users can search for icons that are related even if it doesn't directly match the name. If I wanna put the phone icon on my canvas, I just simply click on it and place it on my artboard. 
Your final design could look something like this. But remember, this doesn't necessarily need to be pixel perfect if you're just trying to get an idea across to your stakeholders. Now that you've built your first UI using the Sketch plugin, you'll want to export it so you can share it with your team. All you have to do is select your final artboard by clicking the name of the artboard in the upper left-hand corner. Then you'll navigate to the export section of your sketch file. You may have presets already, but if you don't, you can click this plus sign here. You can select the file format, whether it's PDF, JPEG, or PNG. And then once you've selected that, you just click export selected. Thank you for listening. And now I'm gonna hand it back to John. Thanks for the demo, Becca. Now, obviously feel free to customize your design to best fit your use case or the problem you're trying to solve. It really is a great way to quickly communicate ideas without writing any code. Now, we hope you're as excited about the plugin as we are. Just in case you weren't able to follow along right now, here are the links to get you up and running. We're continuing to develop the plugin and add new features constantly. We're already hard at work on the next version. Some features in this version might include design linting and automatic specifications for developers but we'd love to hear from you about what would best improve your workflow. If you have any feedback or feature ideas, you can fill out our feedback form directly in the plugin by clicking on the settings wheel. The SLDS Sketch plugin is just one part of our growing suite of designer and developer tools built around the Salesforce Lightning design system. Once your design has been finalized using the plugin, check out our brand new SLDS VS Code extension to help code it up. We're working on creating even more design curriculum and tools for you. Please tell us what would help you most by taking this quick survey. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about the SLDS Sketch plugin. We really hope it helps your team to quickly create impactful experiences on Salesforce.